Okay, here we go. We're gonna take those legs into a Pilates stance. Reach that right nice and long. Scoop, reach up, inhale, press into the ring, exhale. Inhale, lift, press into the ring. Now we're gonna lift up, and I'm gonna pulse that ring. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift up, inhale, press into your ring. Eight, seven, six, five. Can you feel those armpit muscles firing? Releve on this one, releve, hold the releve. Bring it down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back up and press. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more time. Reach it up. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lower those heels. Nod your chin to your chest and round down. You're choosing how far to go. You can soften your knees. Press into the ring. Pull that navel in. Bring yourself back up. That's cue breath. Nod the chin to your chest. Inhale. Peel, exhale, eyes to navel. More weight on the toes than your heels. And we bring it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take the ring to the side. It shouldn't be way high on the hip, it's further down. I'm gonna take the opposite hand behind my head. I'm gonna reach the opposite leg out with pointed toe. I'm gonna press into my ring and lift that leg. So we got a lot of muscles working at one time. We don't rush. Keep the hand, this arm, okay? Heel the hands on. Elbow is soft, so don't lock the arm. Press, I'm gonna exhale as I press. Really lock that standing leg. Make sure all corners of the foot are pushing down into that floor. We'll take it for four and three and two. Can you hold this one out there and pulse it? Eight, seven, the leg and the ring. Five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. Heel of the hand on, elbow is soft. Reach the toes long, hand behind that head. And we press and lift. Exhale, inhale, shh. Try not to lean to that side. Good, think of growing taller like that puppet string, pulling you up to the ceiling. Five, four, can you feel your belly pulling in when you press that ring? And two, hold this one out and we pulse it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take the ring behind your back. So I'm going to turn so you can see my back. We're going to reach the arms long. Heel of the hands are still on. And I press and press. The ring is not going to nearly press as much as when you had it in front of your body. But we're still engaging those core muscles and those armpit muscles. Make sure we're not arching or leaning back. And send your, your tail down towards your heels for eight and seven. Here's six and five. We take it for four and three and two and one. Okay, facing the center of the room, walk to the very top of your mat. So you wanna have all this mat behind you. Hold that ring chest tight, feet are in parallel. As we bend our knees into a squat, reach that ring out. Hold it here, take the leg, right leg, back, reach up, give me a little bit of an arch, bring it back to center, bend your elbows and stand back up, same leg, we press out on one, two, I lift arch, press that hip more forward, reach the ring back out and pull it in, I inhale out, exhale arch, inhale back out, bring it back and we do that one more time, press it out, reach it high, Good, and bring it in. Other leg, first I come into that squat. I lunge it back. I reach, feel that nice stretch in the back hip, bring it back forward and stand up. Now as I take it back, I push out, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, two more. Push it out, bring it back, 
and home. Last one. Out, lift, forward, good. We're gonna step back with that opposite foot again, the right foot, and we're gonna lower that knee down to the floor. Flatten your foot, reach that ring out in front of you, and as I bring that ring up, I'm gonna lunge forward, feeling that stretch again in that hip flexor. Good, bring it back to center and switch the leg forward. The other leg is out, I reach. Lunge forward as you reach. I'm gonna look up to the ceiling, pushing my hips more towards the top of my mat. Bring it back and come into a quadruped position. Let's take the ring right between the shafts, right into the center, and come into a quadruped position here. So I want you to feel like you're sinking into your ring as you stick everything out, and then pull away from the ring. I'm gonna inhale, everything sticks out, and then exhale, everything rounds in. And we inhale, stick your seat out, let the body plop into that ring, and then pull the ring up. And one more, we'll inhale, and we'll exhale. Take one leg back, and if you're able to support your spine, take the other leg back. I'm pushing off my mat. Yep, I'm in my Pilates stance. Fingertips are facing forward, squeezing lemons in your armpits. You're always welcome to have one knee on the floor. I'm gonna soften my elbows, and then come back up, lift your right leg off the mat, and then lower. Soften your elbows, inhale. Exhale, lengthen, left leg up and down. We bend. Press, don't go too low. Those rings can let you go low. I don't want the rings to go that far in. Now let's try and do the leg and the arms at the same time. Right leg, left leg, down and up. Inhale, exhale, four, three, two, and one, back in that quadruped position, release that ring, stretch back while you can release those wrists, curling those fingertips to the wrist. Good. Okay, grab that ring onto your seat, you're still facing the center of the room. Take that ring between those thighs, put some pressure to that ring so our knees are facing straight up, not turned out. Reach those arms long, palms turned in, sit as tall as you can. We're gonna inhale here, press into the ring, exhale halfway back. Hold right here. Now you're gonna squeeze that ring, bring one arm up, and then lower. Squeeze the ring, other arm up, and then lower. Shh, and shh. I wanna see that belly pushing in, I wanna see that spine rounded, so we shouldn't be tall here, we round. I press and lift. <laughs> and three, and two, and one, and then start to stack our spine back up. Inhale, on the exhale, press into that ring, round back again. This time both arms come up, and then we lower. As the arms come up, I'm gonna squeeze into my ring, and then lower. We're still rounded. I'm exhaling when the arms come up. Good. Two more. One more. Pull the elbows back and reach them through your ring. Take the ring out and come up to a very high diagonal. Take the legs closer together. Now they should be about hands width apart. Connect the shoulders to your back. Press out against that ring. Feel those back muscles working, back of the arms, the shoulders, and we start to lower all the way down. Melting that spine. Straighten the legs, reach the arms behind you, and then bring the arms straight up, and then bend your knees and have your feet underneath your knees. Again, your legs are one fist width <clears throat> apart. Imprint your spine, reach the arms back, <clears throat> bring them back up. Inhale, lengthen, exhale. When you bring the arms back up, Nod the chin to your chest and reach your ring for your thighs. 
We bring it back. You're still imprinting your spine. Nod that shin to your chest. Exhale. You never have to lift your head. Those inner thighs should be active. Feel like they're pressing into a play ball. Inhale back. Exhale, lift. We have three more. <clears throat> Inhale. And exhale. One more. Hold it here and slide your knees underneath that ring and reach the ring for your ankles. We're going to reach everything away. Take those legs to a Pilates stance and then come back to parallel. Inhale, hello arms. Exhale, can you feel it? Inhale, quietness in the room. Are we awake? Inhale, scoop, back is heavier. Exhale, three more. You never have to have your head up, remember that. Two more, woo. One more, I'm gonna hold it here. Little scissors. If you wanna go higher with your arms or legs, do it. Eight, seven, six, imprint that spine. Four, three, two, one, hug it in and place your head down. Okay, so take your feet through the ring, feet to the floor, sides of your thighs, press into the ring. Arms lengthening long, <clears throat> right next to your rib cage. The back of your head is firmly pressing into the floor. We're gonna tuck that tail and start to peel up, vertebra by vertebra. Make sure the feet aren't going to one side, and then we're gonna articulate that spine Keep the back of the head pressing into the mat and lengthen all the way down. Tuck that tail, scoop that belly, and inhale up. Exhale, melt. Four, three, two, one. Lift up again, bring it up. Now hold it here. Shift the weight to your left foot. Be strong in that left side. Kick that right leg out and press out against that ring. Out a little, just a little. Six, five, keep your hips in a straight line. Four, three, two, one. Put that down, fix your bridge. Now if that was too hard, I want you to keep that foot on the floor, but still press that leg into your ring, okay? So I'm gonna kick the left leg out and I press for eight, seven. Your standing foot should be pushing into that floor. And we go for four, three, two, and one. Foot down, fix that bridge. Take a nice big inhale, and on the exhale, as you're melting your spine, slide your fingers closer to your heels. Bring those knees into the chest. Hands on that ring. You can keep your head down. I'm gonna take my eyes to my belly. I'm gonna slide that ring out and reach my legs out. I bring my knees in and they'll go through the ring. And I bring it in, I'm under the ring. Drive it in, I'm through the ring. Good. Inhale, exhale. Out, in, out, in. Now hold it out and bring the arms and legs straight up. Turn the pads, you can place one behind your head and the hands go on the other. I'm gonna push into my hands to support the head more and get my shoulders off the mat. If this is not for you, put your head down. We're gonna do scissors. My right leg will lower, my left leg goes towards me, boom. Boom. I want your pelvis staying very still. I want the hips staying still. I want the toes reaching long. And we're gonna try to lengthen those legs as much as we can. We go for eight more each leg. Seven, no strain to the neck, that ring is supporting. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, four more. <sighs> and three and two, <clears throat> and one, both legs up, bend them in, relax your head, take your feet to the floor, I'll let my knees drop to one side, 
and then the other, just a little stretch. Good. Bring those knees back in. Zip those legs up to a Pilates V. Press against that ring. Exhale all the air out to lift up. Double straight leg, lower lift. We're gonna go down, down, down. One, two, three. You can only take those legs as low as your back stays heavy. One, two, three. Four more. Two, three. These are hard. If they're easy, something's not right. Watch your head placement. Last one. Excellent. Feet down. Remove that ring. I'm going to take my knees to one side again. <clears throat> and then the other. <clears throat> okay. So if you need the support of the ring, put it back behind your head. Keep your head down. Whatever's going to work for you. You've seen how many different things we've done already in class. If one was like, oh, this really helps, do that. I'm going to draw my knees in and rest my ring on my shins. I'm going to push into my shins as leverage to nod that shin to your chest and lift up. You're going to take your ring and twist your arms towards me. And the opposite leg is going to press out. And I want you to have the heel of the hands on. Try to get up to the shoulders or off the floor. Squeeze the ring eight times. One, two, I'm so mean. Three, four, it's okay. Five, six, seven, switch, and press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, switch. Fours, three, two, Switch, four, three, two, switch, one, two, switch, one, two, give me a single for eight, seven, don't rush it, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Look to one side of the room, we're just stretching your neck. Look to the other side of the room, <clears throat> lovely, and then rock yourself up. Okay, sit up tall, take your legs to the edge of the mat, and have that ring out in front of you for spine stretch. Flex the feet, press the back of those legs into the floor, shoulders melt. We're going to take a nice big inhale, lengthen the spine. Now, on the exhale, the chin goes to your chest first. Then your shoulder blades peel off, and we stop at mid-back. The lower back should still be pushing against that wall. Your navel should be pushing back. Squeeze your seat gently, pull that navel in deeper, and as I come up, I'm inhaling and letting those shoulders stay to my back. Exhale. So remember, I don't want you reaching so far that you lose that scapula to ribcage connection. Inhale, back up. Nice. Exhale. Keep your shoulders connected to your back. Look to your navel. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale. Now stay up on this exhale. Press down into your rib. Inhale, release it. Exhale, push down. When you push down, I shouldn't see you rounding. I just see you growing taller and the shoulders connecting deeper to your back. Exhale on the down, inhale to release. And three, good. Two, and one. Now I'm gonna bend my knees onto each side of that ring. Turn the pads so they're against the ankles. Take your hands to the outside and draw the knees closer towards you. I can hold a tabletop position. I can keep my feet to the floor, and I will show you from there. Or I can bring my legs straight up. Melt the shoulders, okay? Now you can hold this, or you can rock. The rocking, eyes to belly, we never rock onto our neck. Rocking is not for somebody who has a back issue or a neck issue, or an eye pressure issue issue. <laughs> issue, issue, think of back and then bring it up. Woo. Now I had too much momentum coming back up and it threw my feet down. 
So I'll try that again with more control. Inhale, exhale. Eyes to navel. You can also do this with your legs bent. If you want to have your feet to the floor, just round back, press to come up. So you're still working that core. Yep, but no thudding on your tailbone. One more. We rock back and we come up. Now walk the hands down the thighs and lie all the way down on your mat. Okay? Now if you want to give your lower back a little bit of support, take your hands underneath your seat. I connect thumb to thumb, second finger to second finger. And that's just going to give my back some support. I have my heels turned in. This is called corkscrew. If you don't need that support, your arms are just right to your side. But hey, why not give yourself a little bit of support? It's not cheating, it's just support. All right, so I have pressure on that ring, so it's not gonna fall. I'm gonna go to my right side of my mat, down around to my left, and hold center. To the left, I inhale, exhale up. So I'm really moving my legs from my core. It's like I'm stirring wet cement. My back is staying heavy. There's a lot of different variations to corkscrew. I don't want your hips flying around. I want your back to stay planted on that mat. The back of my head is pushing into that floor. I should not have my chin up to the sky. We're gonna do one more each direction. You should feel this in that center. And one more, inhale to exhale and hug it in. Woo, nicely done. Okay, grab onto your ring and rock yourself back up. We're gonna do a little bit of a twist. So I'm gonna keep my legs straight out. My feet will stay flexed. You know the drill, but I'll say it again. If you can't sit up tall with your legs straight, you bend them or you go out like this, or you sit cross-legged, but you don't say, I'm gonna keep my legs straight and look like this, okay? I want you to stack up. Think of the ceiling is starting to come down, you're gonna hold it up with the crown of your head. Elbows are out, shoulders are connected to your back. We're gonna take a nice big inhale to start, exhale, twist to me. One, further, two. Inhale, exhale, shh. Inhale, exhale, one, two. Inhale, center, exhale, one, a little further, two. We're even growing taller. One more inside, boom, boom. Inhale, exhale, boom, boom, and release. Swing those legs around, let's come onto our stomachs. So you're still facing the center of the room. Ring is not in front of you. Different ways we can do this. If you don't want your arms as high, you can grab onto the sides of your ring. If you'd rather not have your arms extended at all, no ring, hands underneath your armpits. Okay, I'm gonna go higher. So our legs are just sit bone width apart. They're reaching long. Okay, belly button's pulling in. Neck is relaxed. I'm gonna to start to put some pressure into that top pad. As I lift my chest, I feel those armpit muscles firing. And I'm not lifting my head any higher than my chest just lifted. And then as I lower down, I'm gonna suck that belly button away from my mat. Right now, send your tail towards your heels. Lift up on an inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, down. Just two more. You gently squeeze your seat as you come up and then come back down. How's it going? One more. Lift it up, yes, and then return back home. Stretch back into a child's pose and I'm gonna meet you right back down here on your mat. But after we do a spinal extension, it's good to round the spine in opposition. Okay, so I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna put that ring behind my right seat. So I bend my knee, I put it right in the smell of that seat, and then this other pad 
is like behind my ankle slash heel. If this doesn't work for you, you can do it without any prop. You can even grab a play ball. So once I'm back here down on my mat again, I make sure that my hips are square. I make sure they're both pushing into the mat. My belly button is still pulling away from my mat and I'm resting my forehead on my top hand, okay? I'm gonna lift that thigh up and then down and lift and lower. Good. Anchor whatever is not lifting to the floor. And we'll go for four. And three. And two. Hold this one up, little pulses. Eight, seven. You're squeezing your seat. You're driving your belly in, relaxing your shoulders. Three, two, and one. Now, before we go to the other leg, I'm gonna grab that ring and straighten that leg. And I'm gonna put a pad in each hand. My legs are together and my forehead's on my mat. I'm gonna slide that ring higher up so my elbows are bent. And the pads are really just resting in my palms. I'm not really grabbing onto it. I'm gonna kick my legs three times. One, two, three. Straighten your arms, reach the ring for your heels, which automatically pulls your chest up off the mat. Reach those shoulders back even further. Come back down, bend the elbows and kick. One, two, three. Be mindful when you're kicking that your hips and pelvis don't come flying off the mat. Try to have everything solid to the floor. And again, inhale, two, three. And one more, one, two, three. Make this your best one yet. Squeeze your seat, lengthen those arms, and release. Okay, let's put the ring behind the other leg. However you wanna get there, I'm not gonna cue it, because you guys probably have a better way than I do. So make sure the leg that has the ring isn't too far away from your center. I relax my head, I pull my navel in. So right now, if I don't do what I'm gonna cue next, I'm gonna have this little arch thing going on in my back and my hips are gonna come off the mat. So I want you to send your tail down towards your heels. That flattened out my back more and allowed me to make this connection to my mat. Do you feel the difference? Maybe, maybe not. They're looking at me like, what? <laughs> it's okay, I'll just try and cue it. Okay, so we're gonna lift this leg up and down. I'm gonna exhale as I lift, okay? And up. And I'm trying not to lift so high that that hip goes nine inches off that mat. We don't want that. I'm pushing that opposite leg and foot into the floor as well as my arms. Don't get caught with your shoulders creeping up to your neck. And three. And two. Hold this one up, we'll pulse it for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now bend the opposite leg, grab that ring. I'm gonna hook my feet into that ring. Uh huh. If I have my feet more than my shins, that's okay. I want you to pull and bend those knees. And then we're gonna push the feet into the ring, the arms are gonna lengthen, and I'm gonna lift my chest off the floor. And I'm gonna try and push my legs even more so they lift up off the floor. Does that make sense? And then release. Let's try that one more time. So first, I'm gonna pull the pads of my hands towards my seat, I'm gonna bend those knees a little bit more. Then I want you to push the feet into the ring so my arms are gonna start to straighten. And then by that, my chest will come off the mat. I open up my chest, yes. And I'm gonna release, take that ring completely out, and now stretch back into a well-deserved child's pose. And we're gonna stay here a couple seconds longer than we normally do. I want you to breathe, inhaling and exhaling. Try to stay active in your core. How do we do that? We stay sort of more rounded, pulling that navel in, send that tail towards the floor. Two more breaths, inhale and exhale, and one more. Inhale 
and exhale. Nicely done. Let's bring it back up. Let's take that ring between our thighs. Yay. We're in a quadruped position. You don't have to use the ring if it's too much. I can see my toenail polish. That's where my toes are. So it's not, they're not hidden. I can see them. Shoulders over wrists, hips and knees in a straight line. Round your spine, press into the ring to pull your shins parallel to the floor. If this is not cold for you, lower back down. I'm gonna stay here and squeeze the ring. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I lower my knees and I'm gonna look out and arch my back. Now I'm gonna come more into a rounded position. Eyes to navel, put pressure on that ring, lift from your core and squeeze for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We lower down. I stretch, I arch, inhale. Exhale, pull everything in and lift and squeeze for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. I remove that ring and I'm gonna come onto my side now. So you wanna mirror me. My head's gonna go on this side of my mat, feet on the opposite side. So I line myself up with the back of my mat. I can prop my head up or I can lay completely on that arm, okay? Just make sure your head is supported, which supports your neck. So I want you to be mindful of this bottom rib cage. I want you to make it lighter on the mat, like that mat has been in the sun for an hour and it's hot and you wanna pull this in. Slide your feet to the top edge. My ring, you can either have a bent arm with the heel of the hand on or you can lengthen with the heel of the hand on. Make sure your hips are stacked, your feet are flexed. I'm pushing my bottom leg into the mat to lift my top leg up. It is hip height, and I'm gonna reach it even longer. Shoulder connected to your back. We're gonna press into the ring as we swing forward, give a push, and then release as we go back. Let's exhale, a big and then a push. Inhale, a big and a push. So we have hip flexion and extension. I know you guys don't have a mirror in front of you to make sure that leg is staying only hip height, but try your best to feel where that leg is. And press forward, bring it back. One more. Now stack your legs, take your top kneecap to the ceiling. I lift up, lies a feather. Now here is where I push into that ring and exhale. I'm pushing the bottom leg down as my top leg lifts up. And I'm still staying light on that bottom rib cage. I lift up, I press and exhale. One more, I lift up and I press and exhale. Bend the knees and take that ring between the ankles and lengthen your legs straight out. So now I'm in a straight line. My legs are no longer to the top edge of my mat. Whoop. Okay, I'm gonna push into my hand to lift these legs up and down. Now this is too much for this top hip. Lie down, makes it a little bit different. You got it. No leaning back, shoulders away from your ears. I'm starting to sweat, anybody else? Do I need to turn that heat up a little bit more? <laughs> okay, press and shh. Opposition, this hand's pushing flat and down. Good, and lift. And lift. Now hold it up, we're gonna do circles. Round to come up, round to come up, round to come up. Can you feel anything in that side body? Four, three, Two, one, hold center, reverse, and six, and five, hello, four, three, two, and one. I want you to bend those knees. My legs are still hovering off the mat and reach it long. Bend those knees and reach. 
When I reach those legs back out, I want that seat to feet connection. I'm firing those glutes, inner thighs, and I go for three and two. You guys are gonna need a side stretch after this one. And then bend your knees, grab onto your ring. Woo! Okay, press those legs straight back out and front. So now I have my legs at the front edge of my mat again. Take your top knee and bend it and grab behind the ankle if you're able. If this does not work for your hip, take the leg behind you, but you'll need to come back a little bit on that butt cheek. You won't be able to stay on your hip, okay? So pick what works for you. We're gonna hover that bottom leg off that mat, and we're gonna lift it up, up higher, up higher, and release. Up, up, up. So it's not just about that inner thigh. My belly is going in and deeper and deeper and up the exhalation when i want the belly to go in deeper is going to help the belly be able to go deeper because all the air is coming out we're going to hold this one up point your toe and pulse eight seven six five four three two and a one Okay, so I'm gonna come up, my bottom leg or my top leg is gonna come behind me. I'm gonna take this arm out. I'm gonna bend that arm and I'm gonna press that hip down towards my mat. I want you to rotate so I'm looking down at the mat and my arm is just reaching out still next to my ear. And then face me again and bring yourself up, and let's just counter stretch it. Grab onto that shin, and side stretch here. Okay, other side, yay. You know, I was like, I get excited to do things twice, right? All right, so line yourself up with the back of your mat. So that mat be used as a ruler, it helps our alignment, okay? You can choose to prop your head up like so, or lay all the way down. Just make sure your head is supported. So I'm lined up, I'm gonna keep my bottom rib cage nice and light. Slide your feet to the top edge of your mat. Feet are flexed. You can have the ring closer to you with your elbow bent or reached out. But I want the heel of the hand on the pad, fingers reaching long. Don't have the ring too close to your legs because you won't be able to kick enough forward, okay? All right, so I'm gonna pry this top foot up. My bottom leg is anchored. My bottom rib cage is pulling in, and here we go. Exhale, exhale, inhale, inhale. Back and back. You gotta anchor that bottom leg. Keep the hips from moving forward and back, right? So pull that navel in deeper. So my toes are flexing as we kick forward and they point as we go back. And that bottom leg is staying active the whole entire time. One more. Now we're gonna stack those legs. Take your top kneecap to the ceiling. As I lift up, my bottom leg pushes down. I press into the ring, big exhalation, heel to heel. Lift up. And then exhale, press into your ring on the exhale. Inhale up, exhale longer, longer, longer. Two more, up, one more. We lift it up and reach. Bend the knees, take the ring between your ankles. Straighten your legs now to the back of the mat in a straight line. You can lay on your arm or keep your head propped. And we're gonna lift the legs up, and then down. Now it's very common for this top shoulder to want to crank up when those legs come up. So establish that connection shoulder to rib cage. Navel in and up or navel to spine. Even though my legs aren't together, I can still engage that seat to feet connection. My inner thighs are working, my outer thigh is working, my glutes are working, hip, nice. Try to reach those toes a little longer. Shoulders down stronger. And we go for three, 
<clears throat> and two. Now hold this one up. We do eight circles forward. Round to come up. Round to come up. And four. Control. Three. Two. One. Hold it top. And reverse. Round to come up. Are you firing those glutes as well as your core? Oh, I hope so. And we go for four. And three. Come on. Two. And one. I'm going to bend my knees. Straight and squeeze everything you got. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Lovely. In and out and in. Does this side feel easier? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. And two. And one. Bend it. Now slide your feet to the top edge again. Your top knee will bend the ceiling and take that foot in front of you. Try to have the foot flat. Don't be up on your toes like this. You can also take the leg behind and you'll need to roll back a little bit on the side of your glute, okay? Hover your bottom foot and we're gonna go up, 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 hover. We exhale. Why are we exhaling? To get the air out of our center so that center can press in deeper. Good. Think of lifting a dumbbell that's on that thigh, inner thigh, up. Up, up, good. Up, up higher, up higher. Woo, two more. Try to get even higher. One more, no leaning back. Now hold it up, point your toes, and pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it on up, your top leg. It's going to come behind you. Your bottom leg is on the mat. Reach this arm out. And as you side stretch, let the forearm come to the floor. Oh, does that not feel great? All worth it. And then we'll counter that stretch. We'll grab that shin and pull ourselves other side. Nice. Okay, turn to face the center of the room again. And grab your ring for some teasers. That's right, I love teasers in this class. Okay, so I have my feet further out. I don't have them this close. My legs are one fist width apart and my arms are in a diagonal just like my legs. Connect your shoulders to your back. Don't come up like this, okay? Take a nice big inhale on the exhale. You choose how far you go down. I press into my ring. We will not use momentum today. We're gonna nod that shin to our chest. Find that lower back. Peel up, up to your diagonal. Watch those shoulders and come down. Always keep your shoulders connected to your back. Nod that shin to our chest, eyes and navel. Peel up. Pay attention to where your shoulders are. Bring it back down. Now I'm going to take my legs together. I'm going to nod my chin to my chest. Right when I'm in my diagonal, I'm going to lengthen my legs out to that Pilates stance. Come back down to parallel and waist pulls me back. And again, nod the chin to your chest, shoulders connected. Inhale up. Oh, I saw momentum. I've got eyeballs on the sides of my head. And reach. Now harder, let's take our legs out all the way. We'll nod our chin to our chest. The ring is gonna go towards our toes. Hover the eyes and toes in a straight line. Peel yourself up. This is not for everyone. And then we'll come back down, hovering. Pull yourself back up. Bring it back down, hover. Lift up. Now stay up. Bring the arms up and down. Up. Lock those legs. 
Now hold it up, legs. Four. Lift from your belly, not your hips. Three. Two. One, everything comes down and stretch. Stretch. Ah, arms behind you. Legs are reaching long. Whew. Now, hold the ring behind you. This is an extra stretch for you guys because you're working so hard. Take your legs as wide as your mat. And I want you to sweep your arms to the left side of your mat. And I'm going to look where my ring is. And I'm going to take my right leg and cross it over my left. And I want you to slide that heel even further away from your body. So you should feel a nice little side stretch. I call this the banana stretch. And then I'll take my leg back to the edge of the mat and my arms will come back to center. And I'm going to sweep my arms to the right. I'm going to look to the right. And I'm going to take my left leg, lift it, and cross it over the right. And feel like I'm pulling that heel further away from you as I lengthen the arms in the opposite direction. And you're breathing, inhaling and exhaling. Then you'll take that left leg back out to the edge of your mat. Bring the arms back around. Bring those arms right up over your chest. Shoulders are connected to your back. Nod the chin to your chest. Reach the ring towards the toes. Find that lower back. Bring yourself up. And I want you to stop when the shoulders are over your hips. Okay? And I want you to roll it back. Melt the shoulders. Melt the shoulders. Melt. Squeeze your seat. Inner thighs are even working, even though they're not touching together. Nod that shin to your chest. Inhale. Exhale, just round until the shoulders are over the hips. Round back. Inhale. Now on the exhale, press into the ring. Melt those shoulders. Arms are straight up and my feet are flexed. I'll bring that ring up. I'll nod my chin to my chest. Now I want you to stack your spine. Press the back of those legs into the floor. Connect the shoulders to your back. Can you give me a flat back hinge? Come right back up. Inhale. Exhale. Don't go back too far and don't hang out there too long. Everything is moving back. Everything is coming forward. One more. Good. And then ring goes to the floor and reach as far forward as you can. I'm gonna turn my hands to face the sides of my feet. And I'm gonna grab behind those feet, press the back of my legs down, push your navel back as you're pressing those arms longer into your feet. Can you feel that stretch? You may feel it in different spots. Some people may say, oh, this is a big hamstring stretch. For those who are so really tight in the hams, and then some will say, oh, I feel like my stretch in my back. Some may say, you know, they're rear delts. Take those arms behind you, clasp your hands, and reach them up. Your head will come more forward. Lower the arms back down. Lift them back up, separate them, and go back out to where you were. Head is heavy. Push that navel back. Good, and then we'll stack our spine back up and continue on. Let's go to a high kneel facing the front of the room. Let's go. You don't have a whole lot of time. Laps don't take too long getting here. Come on. Okay, so mirror me, take that leg out. Hips are pushing forward towards your screen. The back foot should be in line with the back of your knee. It's hard to see without a mirror. I can't see where mine is either. All right, so we're going to take this ring as far out as we think that arm can reach. Maybe it's off the mat, maybe it's right to the edge of the mat. Sweep this arm up and behind your head. So I'm still pushing my hips forward. I still have my shoulders connecting to my back. I'm still pulling this bottom rib cage in. It's not going, woo. 
lengthen that straight leg an inch longer because you can now don't have too much pressure on that ring we're gonna lift this leg up and down good lift it up and up and four and three good and two can you hold this one up and give me little pulses eight seven six five four three two and one i want you to come up for a second don't change your legs get ready for your ring if you have a shoulder or wrist issue you're going to come onto your forearm like so if you're okay still here with your kickstand stay that way okay now i want you to take your legs and scissor them and bring this arm straight up yep you can be on your forearm i'll show you the forearm here's your forearm you can have that bottom knee still on the floor whether you got your arm in a kickstand or a forearm squeeze the lemons in that armpit now if you want extra credit bring this arm parallel and we're going to tap and bring it back up tap and up tap tap three woo two and one put that knee back down and bring yourself back up okay roll those wrists that was fun I think they're thinking about that. They're thinking like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> okay, mirror me. Leg out, hips push forward. You wanna feel these babies are opening, otherwise we're probably like this. Reach that ring as far out as you can. Okay, bring this arm up, and then the elbows to the sky. Connect those shoulders, both shoulders to your back. Now how about slide this leg a little bit longer? Good, now pull that belly in and up. Gently pinch those sit bones, and we're gonna lift up and down. Good, and here's four, and three, yes, and two. Hold this one up, let's pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and bring it down. Ring goes off to the side. You can want your forearm, you can be a straight hand again. You can keep your bottom leg on the floor, just like this, right? You can go on a forearm, yep. And you can choose whether you lift up or not. I'm gonna take my bent knee, cross it behind. Hold it here. Squeeze lemons in that armpit. I'm gonna bring this arm down, and I'm just gonna tap. This is my weaker side. So this is really challenging. I could tip over at any time. That's okay. <sighs> Top leg. And two. Woo! Ah. And one. Retrace those steps. Bring it back up. Bring that leg in. And I'm gonna have you sit back onto those heels. Circle those wrists. That wasn't so bad. Now that it's done, it wasn't so bad. <laughs> Just go with it, right? Right. Okay, onto your seat. Facing your feet again. Hang tight. So we're gonna do seal. So my hands are together. My knees are apart. I reach my hands to the center of my heels. Then they separate and go to each side of my foot. Now pull your feet closer in, and if you're able to, take your feet off the floor. Now we're always in a Pilates V, but this is the opposite. Your toes will touch, your heels are apart. Try not to let the legs just plop out, kind of push them into your center line, shoulders down, chin to chest. Now just tap the toes nice and big. So it's not a quick, it's not quick. And what this is doing is opening up your hips. Get them a little bit of release. Okay. Now, if you want to add the full exercise in the rolling portion, 
And again, same thing if you got an issue with your lower back, your tailbone, your neck, your eyes. We don't roll back. So we're going to tap our toes three times. That's why it's called seal. Er, er, er. Then we rock back. See if you can balance, tap three, and then come up. One, two, three. We balance, never onto our neck. One, two, three. Roll it up. One, two, three. Nice and easy, we roll. And we roll back up. Last one, roll the back. One, two, three. Roll it up. One, two, three. Let your feet come down and go into a butterfly stretch. Grab onto your ankles. Your elbows will push your knees down. Lovely. Take those legs straight out. Keep your hands on your ankles. Pull your torso closer to your thighs. Scoop that belly deeper. Relax the neck and shoulders. Breathe, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Give me one more time, please. Inhale and exhale. Now reach those arms parallel to the floor. Scoop that belly in deeper. Now add the glutes into this mix and start to bring your spine up to this lovely diagonal. I'm in this diagonal, I'm reaching so long. Now I'll bring it completely up over my hips. I'm gonna open my arms out. They're gonna slightly come behind me. I take my hands to the floor. I take a nice big inhale. Lengthen your spine. Now on the exhale, keep that spine just as tall. And you have made it. Woo! Good job. Okay, I know. Happy seal. <laughs> Now you want to do the seal. Now the class is over. Oh, you guys crack me up. Bam. <laughs> <laughs>